Hi and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at the Jackson Dinky JS32 and this one is an arch top with a double locking tremolo in pavo purple. It does come in other colors but I really dug the purple. Especially with the black hardware I think that looks really good. Now right off the bat I want to show that this is a thinner guitar than a standard guitar. If you look at it next to like an Ibanez RG series you can see it is thinner, um, not quite as thin as like a Squire Bullet, but think kind of along those lines. Um, it's a 7.2 pound guitar. The ones on Sweetwater's website went all the way up to 710. So it's still an under an 8 pound guitar, but very comfortable to play. We have a couple carves right here along with the arch top. You have a carve joint back here. However, the heel joint is still squared. So you will feel that as you play, but it's still comfortable. We have recessed plates, which also add to it being comfortable. Now, we do have a double locking tremolo system. This is a Floyd Rose license, and it works really well. I know not all licensed tremolos work great, but so far this has been fantastic. Now we also have two humbuckers. They are ceramic. We have a single master, or excuse me, a single volume and a single tone, as well as a three-way selector switch. Now the neck is maple with an amaranth fretboard, 24 jumbo frets, is a 12 to 16 compound radius. We have, I believe they call these the triangle inlays. We have a locking nut. And the binding extends up around the headstock, which looks really good. And the tuners are just some standard Jackson seal tuners. All right, we're going to go ahead and hear some tones. First, I'll do clean with a little bit of reverb. Then I'll add in an overdrive pedal. And then I'll go ahead and do a custom setup. So let's go ahead and hear how it sounds. Alright, that's the Jackson Dinky JS32. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do like this kind of content, please click like and subscribe. Click the bell icon to stay notified. Leave me some comments and suggestions. I'd love to hear from you. And until next time, keep playing.